Hi, and thank you for watching this brief introduction to the Ford Transit. My name's Amy from Johnson Controls, and I'll walk you through all the key features of the vehicle and explain most of the commonly asked questions. To open the vehicle, there are three sun buttons on the key. Open, lock, deadlock, and the bottom button will unlock the side and rear doors only. Here we have the fuel filler. When the vehicle is unlocked, simply open the passenger door, pull and the flap will open. You will notice there's no filler cap. This is because the van is fitted with Ford's Easy Fuel, meaning you can never make the mistake of filling the vehicle with the wrong fuel. Below the fuel cap, you'll see the AdBlue intake. You'll also find a small plastic funnel, which is designed for the unlikely event that you run out of fuel. When inserted into the Easy Fuel system, the device allows you to use the jerry can to add fuel. The spare wheel is located under the vehicle. To release it, you remove the small plastic retainer and use the brace to lower. If your vehicle has alloy wheels, the locking wheel nut is located in the glove box upon collection. Make sure you keep this safe and within the vehicle at all times. You'll notice an iPad holder in the central folded seat. The passenger seat folds forward to allow further storage under the seats. Once inside the vehicle, you can control the windows using these buttons on the door. The infotainment system controls, along with the climate controls, are situated here on the dash. There are steering wheel mounted controls for further ease of use. Please refer to the company policy for restrictions on the use of infotainment systems. Here's the light control. We have the option for automatic lights, side lights and full beam. The fog lights can also be operated from this panel. To open the bonnet, insert the key into the barrel above the badge on the bonnet. There's a secondary catch to the left, which will allow you to reveal the engine bay. The front seats can be adjusted by using the handle under the seat, along with the lumbar adjustments on the side of the seat. The steering wheel reach and make can also be adjusted by this handle under the wheel. To start the vehicle, you just need the key in the ignition to press the clutch and turn the key. The van will not start without the clutch being depressed. Remember, this vehicle is a company asset. It's your responsibility to look after it whilst in your care. Here are the main key policy notes all Johnson Control employees must adhere to. It's illegal to smoke in company vehicles. In addition, no vaping is allowed. Use of a mobile phone, even on hands-free, is not permitted as part of our driver distraction policy. Drivers must have signed a driver mandate and had their license checked before driving on company business. If you change or swap a vehicle, for the company to remain compliant with the HMRC, report the swap to the company vehicle provider. There is no need to report this change if the provider instigated the swap. Your vehicle is an important company asset and it's the driver's responsibility to make sure the vehicle is roadworthy to drive. If you have any doubts, do not drive the vehicle and report it to the fleet provider who will assist and arrange to keep you mobile. It is essential that all maintenance and servicing is carried out when prompted. If you don't know when your service or MOT is due, please contact the fleet provider.